The general thinking behind the exhibition, Power and Prestige, is to show the evolution of the headdress, how it was made and how it was worn within society. Uh, to do that, we showed various depictions of headdresses as well as the headdress themselves in various forms. And so there are black and white images as well as cave art, ledger art, hide paintings, uh, a shield, and a fan, which is on display in the exhibition. Uh, all of them show the headdress being worn in various ways, uh, show uh, religious uh, ceremonies in uh, the cave art as well as um, daily life scenes and warrior narratives. In addition to the headdresses that we have on display, we have a few more items that are still down in our collection that we were unable to put on display simply because of room. And so we have three examples of that here today. The first one is a child's beaded vest, which is uh, fully beaded and is likely Lakota. And on the front shows two depictions of individuals wearing headdresses on horses. On the back are two additional depictions. Both of the individuals on the back have trailer headdresses. And on the front, you see a depiction of someone wearing a classic eagle feather headdress and another depiction of a trailer headdress. Uh, another example is a tobacco bag or a pipe bag. Uh, this again shows uh, a human, uh, human form, but it shows a warrior or an individual wearing a headdress. But what's interesting about this is complementing the beadwork is actually quill work. And quill work is actually a much older um, artistic tradition. And this is done by uh, harvesting the quills from a porcupine. Uh, then the quills are dyed and then wrapped uh, around the leather. And that's what actually gives you the design. And so this is really beautiful, but then with the introductions of beads, you see the displacement of quill work, which would be a lot harder to come by, a lot harder to work with, uh, with a medium that is much easier. So you see a transition to beads. Beads also allowed a lot more complexity of design uh, to be integrated into any object. The third object we have is a contemporary object, and this is a hat. Uh, done by Dwayne Wilcox. And so this is all done with ledger art. Um, as you see uh, in the exhibition, you see ledger art being used um, in the exhibition, and this is just another way in which the artist took depictions of ledger art and actually made them into a hat. It's a beautiful piece, and one that I'm a little disappointed. I wish I was able to, wish we had the space to put it into the show, but it's great to be able to uh, show the community and uh, our patrons uh, this wonderful piece of artwork. And even though it's not on display now, you can look for it in the future. The exhibit is on display through May 14th, 2017, and we had beautiful objects up there. Uh, and these were just additions, and so this is just a good opportunity to show you what else is in the collection.